Hey everybody, Troy Templin here. Um, doing a little photo shoot with my friend David here with the new uh, Fujifilm X-H1. Says it's water resistant. Putting it to work today in the rain. Rain in here in Los Angeles. Um, also got the uh, Godox flash and trigger system, the X-Pro trigger. And uh, we're testing out, testing those out in the rain too. We'll see how it goes. Oh, got some water on here. And uh, so far so good. We've been out here for about a half hour, maybe 45 minutes. And um, getting some pretty, pretty good images. Got the uh, 16, 16 to 55, 2.8 on here. Here he comes, hold on. Um, got the 16 to 55, 2.8. Um, so far, so good. No problems. Already went through a whole battery, so um, that's the only D. upside is I've got the grip. Downside is the batteries on this thing are they they go through them pretty quick. So we'll see how it goes, and I'll give you a little update. Okay, just finished up a little photo shoot there in the rain with. Uh, buddy David needed some uh, riding bicycles in the rain shots and day two of having the XH1 it starts raining so why not uh, test it in the rain did well I just think we shot for about an hour an hour or so um, I was playing with it a little bit earlier today but uh, the first battery in the grip has died so um, played with it for a bit, changing some settings. Um, I shot with it a little bit yesterday in the studio. So overall, I really like it. Um, top display is really sweet, but in the rain, it's great. Only thing I noticed is uh, when David was coming by, he was splashing up the water and it was going all over. And the uh, little droplet of water actually got on the sensor of when you look through the eyepiece and I couldn't see anything on the back display because that drop of water was in the way so that was the only uh, hiccup when I was out there using it so overall it seems to be doing great I'll let you know if I had any problems with the camera after it dries off but you know playing in the rain for at least an hour and no problems with it uh, getting wet so Anybody that shoots sports and action in adverse weather like I do um, seems to be doing great so far. Okay, cheers. Add one last thing. I've got this uh, Mind Shift backpack here. I'll put a link to to it, but it um, this bag is rad. I think it's called the Backlit or Backlight. Hold on, let me see. It, I know it says it on here someplace. Um, I don't know, but I like it because you can toss it on the ground like this and you actually access your camera gear back here rather than laying the part that sits on your back in the water. So, or in the snow or the mud or whatever. So it keeps you from getting the muddy or wet or any of that stuff. Um, on the ground whenever you're getting your gear out. Uh, you can leave the the um, um, waist strap connected and spin it around and kind of get to your camera gear without taking it off, but you do have to take the shoulder straps off. So if you're the kind of person that, you know, tries to, uh, doesn't set your gear down, um, then it's a little awkward, but it works. And uh, I really like it for kind of action shots and all that. Okay, that was it.